land of extremes, where fire and ice clash. Ancient mountains give way to lush forest. A forgotten wilderness, dazzling in its diversity. Seasons of darkness and perpetual light reveal life thriving against all odds. Surviving a battle against the elements and each other. Scandinavia lies a vast treeless wilderness, the Arctic tundra. For most of the year, the temperature rarely rises above freezing. Little grows. For a short period, the surface thaws, revealing a carpet of moss and grass. It is a harsh and unforgiving landscape. Surprisingly, there is life here. Big life. Musk oxen. Protected from the extreme climate by their thick, shaggy coats, they are at home on the tundra. It is autumn, their mating season. Males, weighing as much as 400 kilos, charge each other at speeds of almost 40 kilometers per hour. Females wait to see who will emerge victorious. Between jousts, the males strut and posture like toreadors in a ritual designed to intimidate. A thickened pad at the base of their horns protects them from the full force of collision. Sizing each other up, they get into position for yet another charge. They may go 20 rounds before one of them admits defeat. The loser is banished. But the battle is never won. Next year, the victor will have to fight for the females all over again. Encompassing an extreme range of climates, Scandinavia is made up of five countries spanning much of the Northern Hemisphere.
It is home to a diverse array of animals uniquely adapted to life in this ice-scarred region. Large herds of reindeer are only seasonal visitors to the treeless expanse of tundra. They cannot survive winter here, so every autumn they migrate south to the shelter of the forests. It's a busy time for breeding males. Migration is at the same time as the rut. Within three weeks, the males do nothing but fight and mate while keeping on the move. They live entirely off their fat reserves. The herds travel as much as 50 kilometers every day. They must leave before extreme conditions shut the door. Behind them, winter closes in fast. Temperatures plunge, often reaching minus 40 degrees Celsius. Deep snows cover the land, and the sun disappears below the horizon for two months. The only break to winter darkness is a celestial spectacle, the Aurora Borealis. To the south of the tundra lies a belt of coniferous forest covering thousands of square kilometers of Norway, Sweden, and Finland. These forests are part of an even larger belt of conifers extending right across the continents of Eurasia and North America. The largest expanse of forest on Earth. By March, the days have grown much longer, but the temperatures are still well below freezing. Forest dwellers must cope with both severe weather and meager food supplies. The red fox is on a constant search for a meal. The sea eagle's usual food is buried under the ice. Sea eagles rarely venture into the forest, but times are hard. With its great strength and sharp talons, it could easily take a fox. But on the ground, the fox has the advantage. so it can risk stealing a scrap. Its audacity pays off. <laughs> Scandinavian elk are the largest member of the deer family. They search for food in the snow, but with no greenery to be found, they're forced to eat bark and twigs. 
twigs. They must consume up to 20 kilos a day to survive. Elk are a favorite prey of bears and wolves. In these drifts, elk can't run fast, but they can fight back. Males can weigh up to a massive 700 kilos. A kick from such a large animal would inflict serious injury. Despite the freezing conditions, forest ravens take time off to play. Highly adaptable and intelligent, these large birds shadow the forest's most successful predators to make sure they get regular meals. They count on grey wolves. <laughs> 